name is Mike Small. Um, I'm from Intro Labs, and we've built a platform which basically makes business introductions and new connections to uh, people around you based on data from all of your social networks. Um, it's a big data project, and uh, it, the business model is, is a, a SaaS enterprise, um, and we have a mobile front end. So um, let me drive you through the app, because people like to see the eye candy first. So um, essentially, Intro is uh, a service that finds you people around you with, uh, who have the skills uh, that you're looking for, and who are also part of the members of, of the also network app. Uh, members of the networks you trust. So you log in uh, over Facebook or LinkedIn, and we'll create a profile for you. Um, you essentially don't have to repeat everything you've already done online, because we can grab it from, from LinkedIn or, or Facebook. You tell us what you do. So in this case, I've set myself up as a tech director founder. Um, you, we've got some engagement metrics here that show the user how, uh, just basically how, how they, um, interacting with the product and yeah so the main thing here is we will find you a bunch of introductions of people around you who match what you are looking for and who, or who might be in a similar industry so if you want to refine that I can say that I'm looking for an entrepreneur entrepreneur and there you go and it will go through all of the data on our service, and it will find me some introductions for, the, for someone who matches that criteria. So what it's doing here is highlighting people who are part of the Silicon Valley uh, Entrepreneurs Network on our service. And here's an entrepreneur. It's actually Sonia I spoke to today about our app. And I can see that she's also connected to a friend of mine, Lorenzo, on LinkedIn. And we would highlight all the connections over LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, any social network. Um, you can see all of her work experience, and that's all grabbed from LinkedIn. If you're interested in making contact, you can reach out with a message. Um, so you could say, hey, um, I'd like to chat to you about a project I've got on the go. And it has to be a dual expression of interest. So I've reached out to her. If she accepts, then she becomes a contact. Um, and with contacts, we basically unlock things like the chat, you can email people if they've got an email address attached to it. Uh, you can throw them back to your LinkedIn. And you can see here that I'm highlighting all the networks that we're both part of. So <coughs> Hack of the Founders, New York Tech Meetup, and the whole array of everyone that we're connected to over all social media. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the features we've, we've been re had requested is loads of people are saying that they have lists of a thousand people on uh, on LinkedIn and X amount of people on Facebook. It's really hard to keep track of who's in town and who's around you, so that you can actually engage with your business contacts. So you can just hold down on a particular person, and it'll zoom right into where they are. Alex actually in Shanghai, um, or you can just click this map feature, and it will just put all of your business contacts who are in town around you on a map around them. And you can actually just basically. Uh, you know, click on messages, say, hey, I'll see you down the road, you want to grab a coffee, and let's catch up. Um, there's some other features here where you can actually teleport yourself to another city, and it will basically fix your location in another city and, uh, and find you the, the people you're looking for at the other end of the world. So our business model is based on uh, this networks feature, which essentially um, we're building as a SaaS model, so we can set up a um, a network for any business organization with members um, or uh, any ecosystem or a brand with talent below it, say, say like Adobe or Oracle, where they have uh, a spread of talent below them that need to be better connected. Um, and we're going to offer that as a, as a SaaS dashboard where the network owner can um, log in, set up the name, <coughs> upload a logo. They can link it to a Facebook group, a LinkedIn group, uh, or a um, uh, or a meetup group, and they'll get metrics uh, on their community, find out who the influencers are, who the people, um, uh, you know, who, who are basically most engaged within their network, and also get a communication tool to send notifications, geofence notifications, direct down to uh, to the mobile device for people in a, in a specific area within the within the network. So, you got it? Great. Thank you.
Um, we built it over LinkedIn because they, these things uh, tend, we, we believe they need to be defined in their space. Um, and people, as far as I'm concerned, are only really interested in meeting new people if it's basically dating or business. Uh, and I don't want to be dating, so we built it over LinkedIn so that there would be no confusion about uh, how, you know, what space is defined in. Um, We've subsequently had a ton of requests from Asia for, to enable a login over LinkedIn, uh, over Facebook, sorry, because places like Japan, hardly ever, anyone ever uses uh, LinkedIn for, for work. And the first 500 people who jumped on it in Germany said, if you want this to work in Germany, it needs to work with Zinc. So we're partnering with them by the end of the month. Um, but essentially, the networks can either be native, native on our service, um, and they can, or they can be a meetup group, a Facebook group, or a LinkedIn group. So anyone who runs a, a, a community through one of those can have a network. Um, and then we can do uh, a network for, a, um, for an event or you know whatever it is for the either geo fenced you know, walk into an area and we'll auto join everyone to the network or they can have an activation code for an event. Uh, my question specifically was: Do you do you talk to LinkedIn or you just use the APIs and just? Uh, we've got a good relationship with them because we're increasing engagement. A lot of our users came back and said, how do you, um, you know, my profile's out of date, and we'll send them go back to LinkedIn or the platform that you logged in. It sounds a lot like Banjo. <coughs> uh, Banjo is more of a social product and very stalkerish. That's so, true. This is, this is totally about business, and uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's about meeting people with skills that, you know, that are relevant to, to you. Uh, good analogy. It's a good good analogy. Thank you. Uh, so, do you think um, you use the web services of LinkedIn and maybe other activators? Do you provide your own uh, RESTful API? So, you know, develop these Yeah, we've, we've built a RESTful API for, um, for our own products. There's a second one on the way that basically will find you a path to any other person um, over all your social networks. Um, between you and anyone else, so uh, we we are looking at off at, at opening it up because um, we've had a lot of conference organizers that say, well, we we like the service, but we'd rather have our own branded app. So that that is something we want to do in the future, you know, or offer a white box um, uh, product in, in terms of apps. <coughs> We're not there yet. We're not quite there yet. When you reach out to someone, does it request a connection on Facebook and LinkedIn? Because for me personally, my LinkedIn contacts are completely separate to my Facebook contacts. So does it actually reach out and request that, a connection? That reach out is actually to another person who's on our service. Okay. Um, if we can't find 20 people around you who match what you're looking for, we'll dig into Foursquare, Facebook, and um, any other geo uh, geotag tweets or you know, Foursquare training venues and find other people who you know, potentially match what you're looking for. And if you reach out to them, it would be potentially a, a tweet. So that can kind of bring new people into the service. Is it Apple? It's on Android. This, this version is only a week old. The, the Android one's about two weeks uh, out, and then we, we are going to do Windows Phone as well. Sorry? Kind of no, um, the, the, the second app, which doesn't really have a name yet, uh, is actually going to be a widget uh, as well on, on, the, um, on the, just on a Mac or a PC, and you can just type the name of any other person, and it will just go through all of our data and try and find uh, a path to that person over any social network through people that you know. So that we will do it with widgets as well, yeah. Did you develop a taxonomy of roles and skills? Um, that's kind of grown organically, the, the, the mapping. When you log in from LinkedIn, we, we've got a consolidated view of, of, of industries, and we've kind of, we map your LinkedIn industry to one of ours, and then um, uh, the roles, have, most of them are by request. So we've, we've done our, our best effort first, you know, 
uh, initial offering, and then we've had a lot of requests. People say, well, I'm a community manager, can you do this? And then other people have asked for more granular stuff, especially the tech industry. People want to be able to say, I'm looking for you know, a developer, and I want it to be a Python guy or a Java guy, so we, we can do, we can add those on our server really easily. So if there's any request for something that's more granular, that's not a problem, and we can do ones that are specific to a network as well. So if you have a, a, a very niche network, um, and you know, maybe some medical thing that, you know, has uh, roles and sub-roles that are, you know, very uh, niche, we can add those as well. Time for one more. Any other questions? Yeah. Do you have an iPad? It's a universal app, but it's not actually, so it will work on an iPad, but it's not, the graphics aren't formatted <coughs> for the whole thing. But it, that's been requested quite a few times. It's just in the queue. Great. Excellent. Thanks a lot.